This is unfortunately not Wilt Chamberlain. Oh, it's getting worse. I would see this lady's face all over the clearance section at Kohl's. You know, I don't need a multi-tool, just give me a really good hammer. My name is Stephen Holm and I am with Home Grounds and today's video is a little bit different than usual. Typically on this channel we have gear reviews, tutorials in order to help you brew and enjoy better quality coffee right at home, but today I will be brewing and enjoying mediocre quality coffee in here. Now we all know that celebrities, people in the public eye are all better than us, normal folk, right? So they must drink better coffee than us. So I figured I'd take this opportunity to try some of their favorite coffees. And the idea for this video was started because I happened to come across the one and only Justin Bieber doing the collaboration of the century with Tim Hortons with the Biebs Brew. Now, I don't know what this is. I admittedly drove up to the drive-thru and acted like I didn't really know about this drink and was like, hey, do you guys have um, some like Justin Bieber coffee? I knew it was called a Biebs Brew. I knew exactly what I was doing. Now, Tim Hortons, if you're not familiar, is a fairly large chain based in Canada. The coffee is, you know, fine. They're probably more well known for like their donuts and stuff. But uh, yeah, this is some sort of vanilla iced coffee with milk of sorts. So uh, let's try this. I don't think they put any vanilla in it. Yeah, that's really bad. It just tastes like really bitter iced coffee with some skim milk. What is this? I should probably have done my research and figure out what this actually is. Beeb's Brew is a French vanilla cold brew. It has cream and cane sugar syrup. Okay, Justin Bieber, drink better coffee. Hey. Now, the main reason that I actually wanted to review this was because Justin also, and this was like last year, but he also has his own collaboration of Timbits, which are the little munchkin donut hole things from Tim Hortons. Unfortunately, they didn't even have them at the Tim Hortons I went to, so I just got normal Timbits. I think his are called Beeb Bits. Be Beeb's Bits. <laughs> Beeb's Bits. Justin. Justin Bits. Justin Bits? Maybe they're called Justin Bits. This obviously doesn't even fit in with the video. These aren't Justin Bits, but I just wanted an excuse to get some Tim Bits for a video. And they're pretty good. Well, I thought I would have a lot more to say about the Justin Bieber, Tim Hortons collab, but I guess that's it for this. Let's move on to the next contestant. Now our next contestant, Martha Stewart. Now, I don't know much about Martha. I know that she does food things. She is like friends with Snoop Dogg, or they collab. That's a weird combination. But I also know that she went to prison, which when I found that out when I was really young, and this story would be really embarrassing if I was like 12 when this happened. But I heard that this lady, Martha Stewart, went to prison and my young brain only thought that people went to prison for like murder, things like that. So I would see this lady's face all over the clearance section at Kohl's and think, that's weird to have like a murder face all over there. But I think she just went to prison for like tax stuff. So who hasn't done that? <laughs> but anyways, this is Martha's Blend. It is from Berry House Coffee Roasters. It has, wow, a lot of buzzwords on here like organic, fair trade, strict standards, sustainability, community, business, and a lot of words that sound really good to people when they're looking at coffees. It says this is a medium roast profile, smooth and mellow, sweet, balanced, easy drinking. 
So this says best if used by October 15th, 2022 is currently July, 2022. There's no set standard for places that don't put roast dates, they put a best buy date, but that can be like three months, six months, a year. As far as I know, there's no set standard for how far out those dates can be. So we have no idea when this was roasted, how fresh it is. It is pre-ground because they don't sell any whole bean coffee. So here we are. I am going to make a cup of Martha's blend. I have here a Hario W60, which comes with this nice fine mesh filter. It just smells like really old stale coffee. Not necessarily bad, but definitely not good. One problem with buying pre-ground coffee amidst like freshness and you lose a lot of the aromatic compounds as soon as you grind coffee. But another issue is that you don't really know what they're grinding for because each type of brewer is going to require a slightly different coarseness for grind settings. And so using this brewer with this grind, who knows if it's gonna turn out that great. We can only get so much out of this coffee anyway, so we'll try it. And brew. So this first stage in pouring is called the bloom. We're just pouring a little bit of hot water to evenly saturate the grounds. And after roasting coffee, there's a lot of carbon dioxide buildup that we wanna release out of that coffee before we really begin pouring a lot of water. You can tell a coffee's freshness by how much bubbling there is during the bloom. And with this coffee, there was none. So that tells us a bit. We have a little taste of this, but drinking a lot of coffee today, so I'm not gonna do too much. Me? There's some really cheap coffees that taste bad, like they're really bitter and burnt tasting. This isn't one of those, it's more just not interesting at all. It kind of just tastes like hot brown water. It tastes fine. I would never in my life decide to buy this coffee if it weren't for making a video like this, but we'll find a use for it. That is Martha Stewart coffee. Up next is someone else. All right, our next celebrity coffee feature is going to be Chamberlain coffee. This is unfortunately not Wilt Chamberlain, the basketball player, although that would be hilarious. If this was Wilt Chamberlain's coffee brand. No, this is Emma Chamberlain, who is a YouTuber. She is pretty popular and has started her own coffee brands. This is the Early Bird Blend, light roast, bright, sweet, from Guatemala and Colombia. So this is roasted by Bigsby Roasting Company in LA. I've been looking for a roast date of anything on this, and there actually are no dates on this, which, at least in Michigan, that would be illegal, and I would assume that California has some laws for that as well, so. Emma, if you're watching this, not that you are. Once again, let's brew this with the Hario W60 and give it a shot. Once again, this is pre-ground coffee. There is whole bean, and I, I swear I bought whole bean coffee from them, but unfortunately this is pre-ground. So it's really lacking any sort of like really aromatic sense. There is a little bit of sweetness to it, like a little bit of caramel and chocolatiness, so I anticipate that this will be slightly better than the Martha's blend. All right, Chamberlain coffee, early bird roast. I will say I really like this packaging. It's fun, you know, a lot of coffee brands are really serious and listing all of these things about coffees, which are important. You know, it's good to have traceability and packaging with coffee, but sometimes you just need to have a little fun, you know, throw a bird on there. So this coffee is a lot better than the Martha Stewart blend. It has some like acidity, some brighter flavors in there. There's a lot of like chocolate, caramel, a little bit of citrus, some things that make it a little more interesting versus just this like very bland, almost flavorless cup of coffee. So all in all, it's good. And if I want to say someone's house and they were brewing this, I would be completely fine drinking it. Now for our last celebrity, I'm going to save the rest of this coffee because we are introducing 
Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston does not have her own coffee brand, just like Justin Bieber doesn't, but recently an article came out that Jennifer Aniston, our own Rachel, talked about how she likes to enjoy her morning cup of coffee with a tablespoon of collagen powder, which I made a whole video on nootropic coffees, which are like coffees that have added things to them to improve your mind and whatever things like that. So I feel like by this point I should know what collagen is and does. Helps with skin, hair, nail, and joint support. Oh, it gives you a youthful appearance, which is good. Skin hydration, skin elasticity, and that's, uh, that's all I got. So we're going to be mixing in a tablespoon of collagen into our Chamberlain coffee. Okay, that was an unfair reaction. It doesn't really taste like much. It's just like a weird chalky powder. Stir this up. Okay, Rachel, let's try your coffee. It's just weird. I don't like it. It's not like a bad taste. It just kind of took all of the like acidity and brighter flavors of this coffee and just got rid of them. And it does have like a weird mouthfeel. It's a little bit like chalky. I mean, if you believe that this could help you in your life do whatever you want, personally, coffee does enough for me that I don't need to add anything else to it. You know, I don't need a multi-tool, just give me a really good hammer. <laughs> Hammers aren't usually on multi-tools. You get what I mean though. Oh, it's getting worse. <sighs> Okay, I take that back. This tastes really bad. It's not neutral, it's negative. So that was me trying some celebrities' favorite coffees. Thank you to Justin Bieber and Tim Hortons. <laughs> they didn't sponsor this video. I'm just thanking them for that incredible collaboration. Emma Chamberlain, your coffee is pretty good. Uh, Martha Stewart, like you don't deserve to be back in prison for your coffee, but it's not great. And then, uh, yeah, just don't put this in your coffee. Put it in like a smoothie. A green smoothie that's not even gonna taste good. You're just dumping in all of the stuff you need for the whole year into this one smoothie you're gonna be drinking. That's what you can do with this. That is all I have to say for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see different types of coffee content, definitely subscribe, like this video. That would be really helpful for us. Let me know in the comments down below if there's anything else you wanna see me try. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, Happy brewing, not drinking any more of that.